Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to import uh, RCP file, which is point cloud file, from Google Map into Revit. So uh, this semester, we are working on designing uh, a residential building here next to this um, building, which is for George Brown College. On the north side of it is the parking lot. Let's assume we're going to build something there. Uh, all we have so far is the map that we got from the uh, city of Toronto. But I would like to see everything in 3D so I can compare when I put my uh, design over there, I can compare it with uh, the adjacent buildings, the height, material, consider it in an herbal context and so on. So uh, I'll go to Google Map first. Uh, 500 McPherson Avenue is here and I need this parking lot. Uh, so I'm going to hide this side panel. I'm going to change the layers to terrain. Uh, actually here to satellite. I'm going to change it to satellite and I'm going to see under more. Right now uh, I do see this 3D option here. If you don't see it uh, go all the way down and maybe check the box for globe view so you see the 3D option, you can remove labels and I think if I hold shift and left click now I can see this in 3D. You can do this in Google Earth as well. So uh, hit escape so the bar goes away and uh, I want this area. If you have a drone uh, which is excellent, then you can just uh, get the RCP file from your uh, drone scan, right? But I don't have the drone, so I just want to use uh, this Google map. So uh, I have already recorded a video of my screen, which I show you now. It looks like this. So I'm going to need this video from Google map. So uh, I'm going to record a video so you can see. Uh, right now I'm recording my screen using OBS Studio. Uh, so because I'm running OBS Studio, I cannot open a new one. You need to use some app to record your monitor. I noticed in new version of Windows, Windows 11 or something, even under snipping tool, in addition to new image, you can get a new video. So just uh, hit record and start recording and uh, just go around this area, which is the parking lot. My site in this design is the parking lot till I get something like this. Hit a stop. Maybe you can uh, crop the edges of the video. Eventually you're going to have something like this. Okay. Uh, next, I want to open Adobe Premiere. I'll go with a new project here and I'm going to go to the location where I saved the video. So this is the video. I'm going to select it and create a new project. I have added it to sequence, but just to show you if I clear the sequence, if I drag and drop the video to timeline, it will start putting it on the sequence. So now that I have it in the sequence, I want to go with export. Uh, what we are doing here is actually photogrammetry, right? So I want to export them as uh, JPG, JPEG here. Uh, so all is good. Uh, let's check other things here. Uh, the next item here under settings is frame rate. So which means how many frames per second. In this one is five frames per second. Well, the resolution is not bad. Uh, and if I save this file, I want to see what's the size of this Revit file. I want to go with only one backup, go here to Revit, save it. And I want to see here, the size of this file is only slightly over five megabytes. So I think it's okay if instead of five, I go with like uh, even 10 or something. Um, so the higher this number, the slower it's going to get and the size of the file is going to be more, but it's going to be more precise. So uh, something between 5 to 10, I might even go with, um, I'll go with 8. 
uh, so each second is going to take eight or maybe six or five uh, and when you are happy with it we can go with uh, export so it's exporting a set of images and uh, we can see how many images it will be in a second here if I open the same location you'll see that it created actually 102 images okay next thing I, ne I need is a recap photo so it's this one uh, I'm gonna create a new uh, object file here and I want to uh, look for the images and I see there are uh, all my images here which were 102 images I'm gonna open them all create a project creation always oh, limited to 100 photos so I'll go back maybe I'll get rid of the couple last ones so it's gonna be 100 photos selected I'll create one uh, it's asking where do you want to put it and what's the title I want to say this is for my uh, Google to Revit uh, actually it doesn't accept space in the name so I'll put Google to Revit here I have already uh, installed um, Autodesk uh, Cloud so we, if I show you here if I go to my computer, you see Autodesk Docs here. The reason I have it here is that I have already installed Autodesk Desktop Connector. So uh, feel free to go ahead and install Autodesk uh, Desktop Connector. And when you have it, it's very nice. Uh, what it does is that it's going to show all your uh, cloud files here as well. So what you need in uh, recap, you actually need to assign a cloud project folder uh, which I already assigned a folder here. Uh, I'm gonna just select this folder. Uh, so this is basically, the, it could be the same location where you have your Revit file on ACC or Beam360. Uh, I'm gonna hit a start. When you hit a start, it's going to start to creating uh, that video for you. Now it's starting to process it. It's uh, going to take a few hours or maybe even one day or so. So I'm not going to wait for it. I'm going to go with the file that I have already created. So if I go to my models, I already have the recap photo, but you need to wait for it and then click on it. I'll go with the one which is already ready, which is this one. Um, so here, uh, first I need to scale it and then I need to export it. For the scale, I measured this on Google. Uh, I just want to show you how you can measure on Google if you are interested. If I go back to 2D, you can right click, say uh, measure distance, then click here and you see that it says it's 38.95. Uh, I also have the AutoCAD file from City of Toronto, it's 38.96 this side of the lot. So I'll go here and I want to say scale it by some value from here to here. It should be 38.96. I have already scaled it. Um, that's why the numbers were so close. So I want to set it. Now that it is scaled, I want to export it, export the model. Uh, if I had RCP or RCS directly here, it would have been nice. But if you don't have it, it's okay. Just go with PTS, export it. I'm going to export it as uh, Google to Revit, PTS save. Uh, now, what I need eventually in Revit, just to show you, is we're going to go insert point cloud, which is going to be RCP or RCS file. Uh, so if you save it as PTS, because you don't have RCP or RCS, that's fine. I'll show you how it works. Now we have the PTS file. Because it didn't give us RCP, I need one more step. 
instead of Autodesk Recap Photo, I'm going to open Autodesk Recap now. I'm going to open, let's say, OK, New Project, Import Point Cloud, and I'm going to uh, maybe save it somewhere else. I'm going to open a new file here, just name it RCP, so I can easily track it later, and I'm going to name this uh, RCP from PTS. Uh, let's proceed. So we're going to select, uh, I'm going to select the PTS file, import the file, and we need to wait for it. Next, I'm going to hit index scans, then I'm going to go with launch project. So uh, this is the file. I'm just going to save my recap project. Finally, I'm going to go here and export the project as RCP. I'm going to save it in the same place. And uh, I want to name this Google to Revit RCP file. I'm going to save this. I'm going to say let's go unify my project scans and it's going to export it as RPC. So now I can go ahead. I'm going to open a new metric model. So I'll go with default metric, open, OK. I'm going to check the units. I'll go with meters, three decimal places. Good, good here. I'll go to site. Maybe it's better to be on site. I'm going to insert the point cloud file. I'm just going to open the file. Let's see it in 3D. Now you have the RCP file. So uh, if I go to site, just do a quick measurement from here to here. It's about 39 meters, which is correct. Uh, now the good thing is if you just draw uh, your project, I'm just going to draw something here. So we see some objects. Now, if I uh, put my project here and maybe I can go to one of the elevations and move this a little bit up. I want to move this file maybe about 13 meters higher. Uh, of course, we can also model topography and so on. But the good thing is when you put your project, uh, you can also actually maybe I'll go with some brick walls. Uh, I'm going to change this to shaded. You can see how it will look like there, uh, how it compares in height with the adjacent building. You can uh, line the windows with the top of the windows of the uh, adjacent buildings. You can put uh, trees here and you see it also is giving you the height of the tree so you know if um, if that tree is going to create any shadows, you can create this adjacent building as a mass and its height is going to be uh, very correct rather than just estimating how high that building is. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope it helps. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.